Well, that question of, you know, tell me about yourself is so open-ended, it can be intimidating. And so really, a student can handle this question by thinking chronologically. Think back to uh, high school, uh, where they're from, and then get into uh, their decision about coming to Ohio State and why they chose Ohio State. I think it's also helpful to give some results. That's a big decision about choosing where you went to college. Uh, give us some results. Are you happy at Ohio State and why you're happy at Ohio State? I really want to get a, uh, a big picture of who this person is. It's usually about the first question after we've had some small chit chat and I want to hear about their background. Usually if they put it in chronological order it's great. So walk me through you know, where they're from, what they did in high school, uh, that can be a building block to what they do here at Ohio State. I want to hear why they chose to go to Ohio State, why they chose their major, and um, really it helps you know, give me a bigger picture of who they are. It also can bring up some examples of uh, things that where we might find connections. I want something specific to what they've been doing in college, maybe something in high school that they had accomplished or a part of, maybe they were on the golf team in, in high school and now they're doing that in college and tell me what their interests are and where they're headed with their curriculum and what they want to do when they graduate, some of their career interests. So not a lot of personal information. I don't want to know if they're married, have kids, their living arrangements. I don't want to know any of that. I want it to stay very much focused on accomplishments and things that are going to relate to the job. When I ask a student, um, tell me about your resume, tell me about yourself, that's really the opportunity for them, in my opinion, to frame the interview. So I want them to not just walk through the components of their resume. I can read that, I read that, I understand that. I want them to pick the things that really get links them from their experiences to my company. So the things in their experiences they're particularly proud of, the things in their experiences that demonstrates the leadership, the innovative creativity, the um, technical skills that they know that I'm looking for for a finance and accounting job within J&J. &J. Well, to start off, I grew up in Dresden, Ohio, which is a small town, and I went to Tri-Valley High School. And I've always really pushed myself to work hard and be you know, a good student and really get involved with the opportunities that were out there. So in high school, I was in National Honor Society. I was also elected for Student Council, council which is where I kind of had some beginning leadership experience. Um, something also that I was really passionate about was learning about other cultures and languages. So I joined German Club and actually my junior year, I was able to travel abroad. I got to go to Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Um, something else that I was really involved in was band in high school. I was in marching band, pep band, jazz band, and I started that from an early age. In eighth grade, um, I joined the marching band, and that was probably one of the best choices I could have made because I had a lot of um, peers to look up to, and I saw that they were really hard workers, um, and I learned how to work in a group, and uh, most importantly, I learned that I had to persevere individually and make sure that my work was done in order for us to all succeed. And when we got to go to our state competitions, um, and we were all out on the field, and we had just finished our performance, it was so great to see that all of our hard work had paid off. So that's kind of really inspired me kind of throughout my life to work hard and do well. As far as work experience goes, uh, I was a little bit ambitious when I was 15. I tried to apply for my first job, and obviously I was too young at the time. So the next year I went back and I applied again at the Dresden Village Association, which is a visitor, visitor center, tourism travel, and also a gift shop. And I had some roles um, such as managing the gift shop on my own. I assisted visitors with travel information. I also helped set up for events. Uh, after that, I uh, was a senior in high school and I had a 4.0 and enough credits to graduate, so I decided to challenge myself and take courses at Muskingum College, um, where I earned a 3.95 GPA. And uh, in my free time when I wasn't um, doing my college coursework or doing my high school work, I volunteered at doing kind of like the election campaign, canvassing and doing the phone banks. And from that, I was able to get an internship with Congressman Zach Space 
And I did some office work, but what I feel like I learned most about that experience was I became a more compassionate, uh, more compassionate person. I was able to have people that either came into the office or I'd uh, listen to phone calls of people that would have a concern and I would get to basically hear their life story, um, how they got from point A to point B, whether it was good or bad, kind of see what our office was doing to help with that. Um, and then my, after my senior year, I had to decide which college I wanted to go to, and I chose the Ohio State University because it was very diverse. There were a lot of opportunities, and right now I'm an international business major, and I have a minor in economics. The interview candidate did several things well in answering the opening, tell me about yourself question. First, she provided structure and organization to her answer by discussing her experiences and accomplishments in chronological order. Second, she provides information on where she grew up and her involvement in school and at work. Next, she shared significant experiences and the skills she learned, such as leadership and teamwork, developed through her activities in band. Finally, the candidate conveys a sense of confidence about her abilities through sharing information about her work and academic experiences. There are two ways the student could approve upon her answer. First, as she progresses through college, she should add some examples of more recent experiences at Ohio State. Second, her answer needs to be shorter and should be no longer than two to two and a half minutes.